What's up guys, welcome back to Watch Chris. If you're not familiar with the channel, I am Chris. I review watches, talk about watches, I visit brands. Definitely consider subscribing to the channel. If you have not, I very much appreciate it. I also film most of my videos at night, so it's actually pretty late here in New York. It's around 11.30, I have three kids, so making videos during the day is almost impossible. Tonight, I have been working on a video for Knot timepieces. If you're not familiar with Knot, they make some pretty incredible Japanese watches. They are Japanese made. They use some very special materials and some special manufacturing. In fact, one of their manufacturers, the manufacturer that make their cases, also make cases for Grand Seiko. We'll talk more about that during the video. However, there are some links that I will put in the description if you are interested in learning more about that. Anyway, let's flip the camera and take a look at a beautiful dial on a 40 millimeter chronograph that is automatic and powered by a Seiko movement, the new limited edition lacquer dial from Knott. The rise of Japanese independent watchmakers really makes me happy. And Knot has been a brand that I have been a fan of from the very beginning. And today we're taking a look at a red dial version of their chronograph. I've said this many, many times here on my channel. Every review that I do for Knot, almost every single one, I mention that the cases are finished by a factory that create cases for Grand Seiko. And every single time I do that, someone in the comments tells me I'm a liar or that I'm crazy. However, Knott actually has a page on their website where they go through the manufacturers that they are partnered with and they actually list the manufacturer there. I will put links in the description, not only to that page, but also the direct link to the manufacturer that I am speaking of. It's a Japanese name. I'm not sure I could even pronounce it, but I will put it down in the description so you can see that. This is a Knot chronograph. It is powered by the NE88. This gets a very special lacquered dial. It is a handmade dial. It's called Urushi Lacquer. And essentially what this is, is a red lacquered dial but in that red, they have sprinkled in a little bit of gold and a little bit of silver. And they call it a degradé dial because it is more concentrated. Those sprinkles are more concentrated towards the center of the dial. And as you radiate out, there's a little bit less of that flake. So what you're getting here for around $1,000 or just over $1,000 is a watch that has finishing at the Grand Seiko level on the case. You have beautiful hands here as well. I don't know who make them, but they are, again, on par with the best of Seiko and maybe even Grand Seiko. A dial that is pretty incredible, and then it's powered by NE88. If you're not familiar with that movement, it's an 8R movement from Seiko. It's basically the highest end movement that you can get in a Seiko that is not a spring drive or 8L movement. It's more high end than a 6R movement. It's an 8R movement. It's actually a better movement than the 7750 technically. So. Uh, you know, whether or not you want to argue that there have been arguments made in that direction. Again, this is a 40 millimeter watch. So this is a 40 millimeter chronograph. It is on the thicker side. I'm going to show you in just a second. So this is basically 39.6 millimeters at that case. It is on the thicker side. As you can see, it's around 14 millimeters thick. It is a chronograph, which isn't terrible. Uh, very small crown. I always say that they could put a bigger crown on here. It would look a little bit better. Uh, 4.3 millimeter crown on the smaller side. And then, of course, the lug to lug. And you can see the finishing on here. I'll do plenty of close-ups of the case so you can see the finishing. Uh, 48.5 millimeters at the case. It is double drilled because you could use this on a bracelet or a strap. The strap that I have this on is a proprietary strap to knot. These are straps that they make in Japan. It has a beautiful keeper on it with the knot logo on there. Uh, this is a Japanese fabric. This is cav leather. It's cav leather on the underside. This is all handmade. Chronograph action on here is excellent as you would expect from an NE88, from a Seiko product. I do wish that they would open up the case back. These are the two things that I've mentioned every single time I've done a review for 
for one of these watches. If this had an open case back in a larger crown, I think this would be pretty awesome. This does get 100 meters of water resistance, so that is pretty good. Not bad. So you can actually really shower with this. You could do some light swimming with it. It's an everyday chronograph. Very quickly, I'm going to show you the watch that I have on my wrist. On my wrist today, I have a Formex. This is a Formex with a beautiful red dial that I'm giving away here on my channel. If you are interested in entering that giveaway, I will put a link up above. Definitely check out that video. Uh, all you really need to do is follow me on Instagram, follow Formex and Extropian who are giving away this watch, but watch the video. There's a couple other little details that you have to take care of, but not a lot to do and obviously uh, you win or have a chance to win this pretty amazing watch at around $2,000 value. There it is on my seven and a half interest. I do want to mention this does get a sapphire crystal and all of that good stuff. It also gets a date window between the four and five o'clock position. I'm not a huge fan of that. However, when you look at the date window, it's really nicely applied. It sort of looks translucent, but it's not uh, very nicely done. Uh, but again, I wish it didn't have a date at all, but uh, I think that the NEA date only comes with the date. I'm pretty sure that is the case, so that's why it has the date. Other than that, this is a 40 millimeter watch. You can see it is around 14 or 13 millimeters thick, I want to say. It was 13 millimeters thick, I think I said. And you can see it wears a little bit high on my wrist. It's not incredibly thick, but uh, I think it looks good. And all in all, just a very nicely wearing watch. This does not get loom because uh, this is technically a dress watch. This also comes on a bracelet, so I think you have to choose whether or not you want a strap or a bracelet. You could just buy the head of the watch and put your own strap on it or buy a strap from them. I don't believe their straps are incredibly expensive and they are all sort of custom like this. You get all these different materials. You can get a plain black strap from them, that's Cav, or you get something kind of extravagant like this. But like I said, no loom on here, uh, just a beautiful dial and uh, a really cool movement and beautiful finishing on that case. Very sharp transitions from brushing and polishing. And again, I'll do plenty of close-ups so you can see what I'm talking about. $1,621.21 or 27 cents, something like that. Very interesting watch at a very interesting price. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. What do you think of this watch? What do you think of the links that I put in the description? Definitely check those out. Uh, it's a good time to go over there and check those out now. If you don't believe me, check out those websites. Uh, I, I mean, if you know, I, I could understand why some people may not believe me because I have been told a million times over that Seiko do everything in house, but apparently that is not true. And I would imagine Seiko would sue these companies for saying that they work with Grand Seiko. And they say that they work with Grand Seiko. So, uh, you know, why wouldn't they be sued by now or uh, at least be told to take that down? And they don't. So, I don't know. I'm just asking questions. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so definitely check those out if you have any doubt about it. Anyway, guys, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.